good kitten internet so where we last left off we have finished sector one jumping to the next sector unfortunately the um exit node or exit beacon yeah beacon that's the correct term the exit beacon contained a pirate who was willing to sell us some drone related things and when we said no decided to go blast a hole in our ship um we've taken three hull damage which is insignificant in my mind um anything below five hull damage i really don't care about and in general, I don't even repair until I'm below 10 below. So we're fine. And we're going to go to the next sector. So now we have a choice. Ooh, this map's strange. So we have a choice here whether we go above or below. If we go below, we're going to go to a rebel-controlled sector. Rebel-controlled sectors are going to have well, a lot of rebels in them. Um, going to be more combat than usual. And the style of combat is going to be fighting rebel ships, which are Federation ships rebranded, and also a bunch of auto ships. Other options, an abandoned sector also has more combat than normal and frequently has pirates in it. That... <coughs> Apologies, my housemate is trying to roast some peppers. <coughs> um... More importantly, more importantly, you can see, <coughs> you can see the path going further down the line. Um, the lower one has more of these nebula sectors, which have a bunch of question marks involved. And the upper one has more happy sectors. We're going to go to the happy sector. Like, yeah, we're going to go to the bit. I think I'm actually going to pause this. Wait until after. Because. Um, oh, and I didn't mention from the last video. Music for. Okay, be back in a while. And I'm back. Food. My housemate pepper spray more than the kitchen. You know, usual. So, uh, this sector was the site of many major battles between the Federation. Very little evidence. Those battles remain. So, the first beacon of every sector is empty. So, there's nothing here. Uh, it's generally only for times that uh, there's certain like ship upgrades. Like, so, the first thing I like to do is take a look at what my star map looks like. Unfortunately, there are no shops bordering. So, uh, I want to go up. Probably just going to ignore sectors. I go here and I found out there's a shop here. Probably going to go. Generally, I like to take the path that next to the most sectors or the most beacons. Like we've got a couple of here. Anyway trying to figure out that out but uh this is usually the point where i start making upgrades on our ship which we need badly um a little concerned about our fuels so first off <coughs> don't feel like it um usually what i end up doing is this um, the reason for that is that usually the second sector is the sign that I need at least two shields. I try to have a number of shields equal to the current sector number. Um, however, don't need to worry about that because we have the Zoltan shields, and that kind of balances for needing shields. So I'd rather save some money, but our dodge rating is terrible. Abysmal, and I don't want to deal with that. Also, we have a bunch of weapons and not enough power to do anything. So what I'm planning on doing is... So, that will allow us to, one, boost, we uh, boost that quite a bit. Two, have a little bit more headroom so we could, in theory, for an example, do that. Um, flak one takes 
10 seconds to charge. It's only one second more than the missiles and is a lot better. Most ways. Um, you're probably going to sell the missiles at the next available shop. But yeah, probably something like this. Jump there. I feel like it. You. I have a kitty in my life. You can't see that, but I have a kitty. Pretty sure. An upgraded pirate ship sits among the remains of a number of Alanias ships. It hails you. These punks think they could just walk in here into our sector. Not just right. Well, I'm sure you know the routine. Let's do this. All right. So things to point out. This is the first ship that we have encountered a cloning bay. So cloning bays are from the expansion. Um, again, expansion's free, so I didn't bother trying to play without the expansion. Point. Um, they replace a med bay, so you can have either a cloning bay or a med bay. Um, the advantage with the cloning bay is that it just brings people back from the dead constantly. It'll level them down, but for the AI, that doesn't really make a difference. Um, but it does mean that you might have enough time to actually fight off the cloning bay boarding. We're not boarding, and they have no teleporter, so it's really irrelevant. Uh, they have one shield. Uh, looks like they have a beam weapon and a blasty weapon. So I'm going to want to take out their weapons quickly. I can't quite reach with this configuration. I can't hit shields and weapons. Well, that stinks. Uh, this is what the area of effect for flak looks like. So what you want to do is try to get as many, as much of the area of the red. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. Apologies. I need more to drink. Um, what you want to try to do is get as many things as possible inside of the area of red. Because flak can hit anywhere in that area. So... Okay, so I know what I'm going really like the game. So, that time you'll notice that the flak is firing, is it three? Yeah, it's firing three shots, and each shot does one point of damage. However, two of the shots missed, because my luck is terrible. You've seen my rant about instant death, right? Oh, you can't really see the corner of my... I must have sat weirdly. Green screen, you can see the corner of, and that's not... Yeah, I am a little bit further off. I'd slide closer this way. Again, kitty in my lap. So, the next shot, I'm waiting until the flak goes before beaming. There we go. Now they're going to have a bit harder of a time. Then Flack will just pummel their shields until they're dead. Like that. Problem solved. It explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. So, for reference, the main difference between easy and normal is how much scrap you receive. You receive more scrap on easy and less scrap on normal. Less scrap. So, that's part of the reason why I have so much scrap in my mind. I'm not used to playing on easy. All right, there's not a shop there, so I'm not going to go down that path. I'm going to go this way. We are down to three fuel. This is a problem. We need to find a shop badly. Gans have picked up a Lanius vessel on this. It appears to be investigating a rich debris field, harvesting the materials. So, Lanius are an expansion thing. I think I'm really not familiar with You go on the offensive. You go on the offensive and power up your weapons. Any luck? You'll soon have the mineral field all to yourself. All right. So we have another new thing. That's a hacking system. I hate hacking. So the Lanius, The main thing is that they are basically personal black holes. They will suck out all the oxygen of any room they're standing in. Luckily, they're not borders. Don't have to worry about that. <coughs> also, luckily, hacking doesn't work while you still have Zoltan shields up. So we don't have to worry about that, either. On the minus side, they have two pew-pews. And that's gonna 
beat down our Zoltan shields pretty quickly. <coughs> Ooh, that was a double pew pew. Yeah, we might actually be in a little bit of trouble. Only a little. This. They're dead. Ah, good. We got fuel. Two fuel, one drone part, 33 scrap. And then the debris gives us an extra fuel, two missiles, and 17 more scrap. That was a total of 50 scrap. Nice. Store! About time. So store sectors are always safe, no matter what. Um, some sectors can turn into a store sector with certain events, but store sectors themselves are always safe. Training depot set up near the beacon. Surprising number of military ships guard the station. You pick up an advertisement on Wideband Channel. Ship parts, repairs, refueling, souvenirs, we've got it all. Check out the only store not afraid of scavengers this side of Omicron 6. Welcome to the store. This store is small, so sometimes stores have multiple pages. This one only has one. However, it has something in here that is perfect. So, let's start explaining. So, each store will have a certain amount of fuel, missiles, and drone parts that you can buy. <coughs> you can't actually sell any of those here. Um, in addition, you can repair. Repair prices are usually 2, 3, 4, or 5 scrap per repair point. So, fixing everything, I am down 3 hull, would cost me 6 scrap because this is a 2, two scrap repair which is really cheap if i was say in this area in health i might consider going back up to uh 25 hull not worth it only at 27 i'm not gonna worry about it um we can buy systems here we can buy a crew teleporter this would allow us to start boarding ships we do not have a ship that's meant for boarding it's not worth bothering right now we only have one human that'd be the only character that would be worth teleporting on board with i don't want to Oh no, backup battery. This gives us a temporarily temporary boost of power for a period of time. Um, so with just the backup battery, we'd get an extra two power temporarily. And then when the temporary power boost is over, we lose two power for a period of time. So backup batteries are nice, but eh. Wait, do we lose the power or is that just when we're hacked? No. Mind control is really handy, uh, especially for boarding strategies. Any person that you see, you can just control them, sort of. What it does is just causes them to act as though their current enemies are allies and their current allies are enemies. You actually can't control them yourselves. So, it's useful. If we had better sensors, I might pick that up, but we've got something better to pick up. Um, there's a battery charger, which allows the battery backup time charging time to be decreased. Which is nice. Advanced FTL navigation, which allows us to teleport to any previously visited beacon. Personally, I've never really found that to be a useful augmentation. I mean, I can see situations where it is, but... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, Bob. I don't know why it's stuck in my throat. My food's not here yet. Got another half an hour. Anyway, um... What we really want, though, is this weapon pre. What that is, is that when we finish our FTL jump and arrive in a sector, rather than having to wait for our weapons to charge up, they're automatically fully charged. And pre-igniters are awesome, and it's nice to see one this early. This is going to make our run quite a bit better, and there's no reason for us not to get it. We're also going to pick up fuel, because we were low on fuel. I generally buy fuel as long as it's not overpriced until I have at least 10. 10 is a good number in my mind. And then we're going to go sell the Leto. I don't really see me using it. No, I don't see me using the Leto right now. I'd rather use the Stun Bomb if I was going to use it. And there's no reason for us to buy missiles. We're not using much of them right now. And we don't even have a drone port. No reason to repair, so I think we're done here. We can't really upgrade anything. <clears throat> Sad about losing the mind control, but I think we're done here. Alright. 
I'm going to jump up here next. So I want to have the highest chance of seeing nifty things, like a distress signal. Other stores, although we've spent so much scrap, there's no reason to go to a store right now. Federation Science Craft is docked with a few Lania ships. You heal them and ask what's going on. Greetings! We have been attempting to understand our region's newest visitors, the Lanius, although we've been making little headway in deciphering their language. Oh, do you have anything that can help my mission? I think there might be blue text here if you have a Lanius crew member, but I've never had one. Sorry, we don't really carry much equipment that would be of use to a military vessel. Thank them and prepare to move on. Nothing bad happened. Nothing good happened, but nothing bad happened. All right. Okay, I'm going to go down a bit. Down there. So again, I like being able to see bordering areas. Scans reveal a large asteroid field near. Crit Rage scanners made to discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Yeah, let's go ahead and explore the asteroid field. Nothing bad's going to happen, right? Nothing of interest. We're getting really lucky. That's a dead end. We're going down. I'm going to go up, then down. Again, I like maximizing the number of beacons I hit. Immediately receive a message upon arrival. Help! These metal bastards have gone crazy! The communication originates from the hull of a partially dismantled ship, which lies among a number of other destroyed ships. The violent Lanius ship responsible for this current which is advancing on the survivors. Oh, well, we can't have that happen, can we? You charge your weapons, which quickly get the Lanius ship's attention. I bet it would, given that I'm just going to blow everything up. I hit this. I want to hit weapons. I'd rather hit weapons over it. I was hoping I can hit I guess I'm going to do that. Actually, yeah, I wonder if I can hit that fourth room. Nope, there's actually a pixel where I can't hit. I'm just going to hit three. I won't be greedy. I won't be greedy. Down to one. Yeah, this is... With the pre-igniter, things at this point of the game are going to be really easy. Especially since we're on... And it's dead. Lanius grip break Lanius craft breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian and three fuel from that alone. The sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up some of your hull as damage for things. This is the reason why I typically don't repair a hull if it's only slightly damaged. So that this is I think it repairs up to ten. <coughs> so we're good. Thing. However, I think I'm going to increase power a little so I can actually have full powered engine. That sounds like a good thing. Get more dodging percentage. We're at 25% dodge now. You recognize this ship as a well known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. So you could buy a slave, which costs you 30 scrap, and in this case, I'd actually be getting a uh, full time. Attack the slaver scum or ignore the slaver scum. Um, I'm going to attack them. The problem is that the best way of doing this is to liberate the slaves, which requires you to board. I don't have a teleporter. It might be possible for me to deprive them all of oxygen. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that off, but I can try. Yeah, I'm going to blow them up. Yeah, that will destroy the ship for sure. Well, oh, we surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. So we can either get the loot or we can get Nathan. Kind of want Nathan. I hate slavers, me personally and also in the game. But they're right that they are all going to die if I... Let that beam continue. 
I'm going to accept their offer and take Nathan. Nathan, do you have any levels? No. You're brand new. Um... <coughs> I'm going to have you go to sensors control. And the reason why I want them in sensors is that this allows us to see inside of the enemy ships. Uh, because having second, uh, manning the sensors allows us to effectively have one additional level in sensors. Uh, the other option would be having them man doors and we have even better door control. I might do that later. So let's save positions and jump again. Ooh, we've got a distress signal. We also have a bunch of time. Eh, it doesn't matter what order we do it in. I'm gonna go to the distress signal now. <clears throat> Grab at the location of the distress signal. Prepared for a fight. But at first glance, it's entirely empty. The signal's coming from a small plastic satellite orbiting a moon. A looping message describes how settlers recently abandoned the area due to the Lanius threat. Fail to find any other signs of a settlement in <coughs> so the Lanius eat objects. That's the reason why they keep harvesting ships and metals and so on. So most likely the settlement got destroyed from eating them. Which sucks. Nothing I can do about that. Lanius Merchant appears to have a significantly improved translator, as you tra understand their message. Mental content more than sufficient. Does your care sh ship care to exchange resources for our excess metal? We need fuel way more than we need the scrap, so no. Um, but what about your translation device? Yes, it is quality. Our ship contains excess. Care to purchase? Ooh, I wish I had 12 more scrap. I've never been able to buy this. No matter. This one does not mind this ship. They pull away, and you're left to wonder what it meant by that. The translation device had not yet been perfected. So I think what it is is that you would get a Lanius. The translation device is actually a Lanius, which would make for an interesting run and now viable to do boarding strategy. So I'm really, really sad about that. Um, Let's go to the exit. Unfortunately, there's not really much else for us to pursue around here, right? Uh, there's a repair station. We have no need to repair because we are maxed out. Um, is it worth the two fuel? Nah, I'm just going to jump. All right, so we have the option of going to rebel-controlled area, which means more fights, or enki-controlled area, which means more random events. We're actually really well prepared for fights, so I'm going to choose the rebel-controlled area. Maybe it's just because I'm talking. So. I talk quite a bit more for FTL because I'm explaining what I'm doing than a master of magic. This sector was hit hard by the rebellion. The many alien settlements and stations located here are now watched over by an almost equal number of rebel bases, heavy-handedly being the peas. So yeah, the rebellion in this case are um, human rights activists, as in humans first style of human rights. So not very happy. Let's take a look at our sector. We've got a store right away, although we don't have enough scrap. We've got a distress signal. Um, the upper route, we're... We have to go through that location to go upper. Given that we see both a distress signal and a store, I'm thinking we're going to go upper, which is sad. I like hitting Nebula. And if we have enough time, we can bounce around. But that's only if we have enough time. Anyway, to the distress signal! We're down to three fuel already. That sucks. Once you arrive at the location of the distress signal, or distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thank you for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? We'll lead you to your destination, it's fine. Take this bit of scrap as a down payment. We'll use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. Added a quest marker to your map, so we gained a quest. Um, we need to lean, uh, bring this Engi bomber ship over to there. So we're definitely going to hit upper. Um, let's go ahead and jump to the store so we can get some fuel. Probably all I'm going to buy, but... You discover a resupply station used by rebels and civilians alike. You transmit your fake ship, ship identification, and, for once, they don't seem to recognize your ship. You try to assume the air of a local as you prepare to dock. Oh, but they have cloaking! And this is actually a two-pager place, too. So, we could buy drone control... Not that we have enough for any of this, but 
We could theoretically buy drone control, which allows us to have drones, and it comes with a free system repair drone. Speaking of drones, there's an anti-personnel drone, um, which is the one that I need for the achievement I'm missing. There's a fire drone, where you just set the drone out and starts lighting things on fire and a second system repair drone we're not going to go with drone control uh we can also hire some people there's a human here who has um level one and yeah level two for guns another human that's just worse and then there's stephen ekman the rockman rockmen are immune to fire so they're extremely good at putting out fires they stomp on the fire reaper um they have half movement speed, but also 50% more hit points. The rock are really good for boarding. Again, we don't have a boarding strategy. I think all I'm going to do is that. All right, let us continue on. We have to go through this particular beacon. You receive a message from a nearby station. Federation cruiser jumping into rebel territory? Quite the bold move. You quickly move to arm the weapons, but he continues. Luckily for you, we're not all in support of the rebel. Perhaps these supplies will get you to friendlier space alive. Nice. Thank you. Actually, I think we should up our shield. So, I've been a little concerned about our shield levels, because... Yeah, we have the Zoltan shields, but we've already encountered one shift that tore through them really fast. So I want to have the capacity to increase our shields. We don't have to use them. I just want the ability to, that way I can drop engines, increase shields for certain types of enemies. <coughs> Dude. Looks like it might be late. Made a delivery time now a half an hour from now. That's fine. All right, upper and lower. Uh, upper lets us see the quest location, which we're going to go to anyway. That doesn't I think it really doesn't matter between these two. I'll go to the upper one. Just You see Vitarian's missing. Sorry, sir. Nothing personal, but we're under orders. Rebel ship's weapons go hot. They have a teleporter. No lie. So now you get to see what the advantage of having level 2 sensors are. We see their ship, and specifically where their units are, and their current health. They only have three units. So in theory, we could let two of them teleport aboard. If we killed them fast enough, we could theoretically... It's probably not worth it. Let's take out shields. You'll notice that since it's a large shield room, that circle takes up most of the area. I want to do is go like ooh actually I just noticed that they have a flat cannon go like that the day is yours show us your honor by allowing us to leave with our lives that's a lot of fuel I will totally let you leave I was just going to try to starve them out of oxygen but I'll take the fuel that's okay with me besides they said it was nothing personal I'll let them live. All right, let's go here. So I'm going to go all the way back. Uh, it's an asteroid field. Crap. And it's an auto scout. So we can see that there's no oxygen in the auto scout room. All right, so this won't be a big deal. In fact, actually, I can just do that and that. Done. Oof. They're not hard when you have... Right, when they have no shields and you have a pre-igniter. How are we doing on low? Uh, not so great. Probably because... Um, we're not really getting hit because it's on easy difficulty and we're still early on. Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Send an away team. I mean, it could be a trap, but let's send an away team. You find a secret Federation outpost, but it appears the rebels have found it before you. The place is empty, and faint blood stains have been can be seen in the living quarter. You find the encrypted signal emitter and shut it off before leaving. Alas, 
Nothing happened. Nothing good, nothing bad. Let's go to our quest. <coughs> Shortly after you arrive, the ship you were escorting jumps nearby. They thank you for your help and offer your reward. Thank you. So that could also be... The reward itself is completely random. Could also have been a trap and we'd be fighting the Yankee Bomber or potentially jump into the sector and find that their escort has been taken over by somebody else. And there's a bunch of different things that could happen. I'm going to try to jump down and go around. I think I can pull. Stumble across a forward scout of the Rebel fleet. Well, it's going to be a bad day for them. Yep, they're powering up their FTL. So if they get away, the um, Rebel fleet will advance much faster than them. But we don't want them to get away. They're not going to. All of them missed. Be us. Having that dodge is already coming in handy. You're dead. <laughs> the ship breaks apart and you're relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. We gain two fuel, one missile, two one scrap. Nice. And there's the text message notifying me about my order being delayed. I guess this is fine. So when I go in the nebula, the rebel fleet will slow down. Automated scout. And now they're powering up their hell drive. Right? Ah, they have hacking. I managed to do that in the other order. Oh well. And their FTL is already delayed. Again, the pre-igniter makes this really easy. Jump there, then there, then out. How are we doing on... 32 minutes. Wait, we're fine. Small Rebel Research Station overlooks a pulsating... Crap, it's a pulsar. Before you can react, a rebel ship spots you and moves in to attack. Pulsars are really bad because they start EMPing everything. That's a regular combat drone. They have bombs. They have a weapon thing. Cool. Their shields first, hopefully. I want to hit that, please. Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. Uh, again, I can really use the fuel, so yes, I will accept that. That also means I don't have to worry about the damn pulsar. So, this is what happens with pulsars. We can show it because it's not going to hurt us. There's no combat going. So, I am pulse imminent. It does that, and then what it would do, it's not showing it because we're out of combat, but it would stun random systems on both our ship and the enemy ship. Those random systems could include things like shields while you're being attacked. You'll notice that it actually took out four of our Zoltan shields just by doing that. It's steam. We really don't like messing around with Pulsar Stars. Ah, speaking of things we don't like messing around with, Rebel Auto Scout. All right. that. That's good enough. Oh, I can't hit all of them. I'm trying to set it up to just automatically... There we go. I mean, they're probably just gonna, yeah, just die immediately. I have a lot of firepower in my ship right now. 
And we are still in danger, so I cannot upgrade my ship as much as I would like to right now. I'm gonna have to upgrade it. After arriving at the next sector, I think. Go ahead and jump to the exit. No reason to mess around with the rocks. I know I could grind by sitting there. I don't like grinding. Arrive with long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You look like a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade and can improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. They're asking for missiles and drone parts, which we have plenty of. I will absolutely drain them. I mean, if we're talking about the value of each, this wasn't that great of a deal. It's only about 20 scrap for us to upgrade a reactor right now. But it's taking resources we have plenty of, and I'm not at all concerned about. Let's go ahead and jump to the next sector. So it's a civilian sector. We don't have a choice. We're going to a civilian sector. Immediately jump into um, that thing. Uh, Nebula. All right, let's take a look to see what we're nearby. We're not nearby a store, so now's the time for us to take a look at what things we might want to upgrade. Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to upgrade engines some more. Like that. It still gives us a decent amount of money. And now we're at a 35% dodge chance. And oh boy, is our FTL drive charging fast now. Uh, how fast? Yeah, it's charging at double speed. It's nice. All right. Go up. We're through the nebula. I'm going to go up. I normally like jumping through nebulas instead because it slows down the rebel fleet. But I also like seeing a bunch of nearby points. And I think that's more important right now. On your jump. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hey, look, it's a toll. Uh, no. Ooh. First two shield unit that we're fighting. Usually that happens a little early. All right. Um, that's a rocket launcher. That's annoying. Aim for their shields. It looks like we're only going to hit three bots, but that should be reasonable. You are considerably more well-armed than we, I would have thought. Uh, we surrender. It's acceptable. Being nice this game. Normally, I like to fight them to the death, mostly because I'm usually using boarding strategies, and I get much better rewards that way. Not, ooh, two stores. Well, we'll go to that store first. Ship Engineer has set up a small shop here. Small shop, it's two pages. Uh, looks like we can buy an ion bomb, a stun bomb, which we already have, or a hull missile. That's actually what they had. Hull missiles are a lot of damage to hull. Which is, if they hit a one of those rooms that have no subsystem in it, it deals double damage. So this would actually deal four damage to somebody's hull. It's really nice, except... Eh? Probably not worth it. Uh, looking at the second base, ooh. ooh. We're early enough where distraction buoys are nice. It basically makes the rebels lose one sector. Life forms. Okay. Uh, this is normally an ability of slugs, which are one of the species. Um, so I'm not used to actually seeing that. That's interesting. Distraction buoys. Willow, which is another Zoltan. Um, Zoltan are always nice, although I already have three Zoltan. Having a fourth is not necessarily useful. Uh, I don't, I would probably just put the Zoltan into one of my existing rooms, like shields or engines or weapons, just as a backup and have an extra energy. Normally I would go with a true crew teleporter. I don't think that's going to be all that useful in this ship's case. It could be. However, I am going to pick up the hacking module because, uh, yes, please. Hacking is nice. Ooh, actually, maybe I'll just put the crew member into hacking. Yep. Welcome to the team, Willow. Uh, I think six might actually be max. Remember now? So, yep, hacking is located here, apparently. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I would rather have Willow out in.
We'll go like that for now. Start hitting the nebula. Ugh. Electrical storm. And there's intruders on board. We find two heavily destroyed ships floating nearby. The remains of a battle. You begin to harvest some useful debris when you hear the shouts of someone beaming aboard, followed by the shouts of a boarding party. They must have a super shield bypass unit. Boarders are on board. All right, they're in the hacking room. I can tell because they're currently trying to sabotage it. You fools. We're going to move door control. <coughs> or if you were going into there. So you'll notice that they've immediate and they're still technically hacking this, but you'll notice that the progress bar isn't moving anymore and they're instead attacking the door doors oh there's more borders well fix that problem so they're trying to attack the doors because currently this is all vacuum and they're dying <laughs> the easiest way to handle borders just to let them get to vacuum so they've broken through this door so for a little bit, I cannot close or open that door. However, all they've done is broken into another room that's about to become vacuum. And in fact, I'm just going to start vacuuming up everything. In I expect this door to get broken into and Nathan to have to fight. Yep. Although you'll notice, close the door behind them. They're already very heavily injured. Oh, they decided that they want to go that way instead. Get some in hand combat. There we go. All right. We shouldn't have any more intruders. Yep, that's correct. So go ahead and close all and close all doors, then open all interior doors. Be fine. Ready to return back to stations. Your job was to hand over there. I'm going to have you be on station as well. Go. Drop this down to minimum. Do that. I like making sure that I have the weapons energized. That way, it's easy for me to um, hop into a sector and have them automatically full because of the pre-igniter. Stressing. Why, yes, I will help. I've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space, as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Distress beacon is active, but you're not sure if anyone's aboard. Hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. They want two of my fuel for five of their missiles. Sorry, I need the fuel. Fuel is way more important to me than anything else that you have. Oh, um, by the way, we should probably have you go to bay. So we have 70 scrap. We could go to the other shop. And that's not necessarily a terrible idea. Or we can go to the other other shop. I'm going to hit there, then the other other shop. Why are there so many stores in this sector? Oh, this is a civilian sector. Never mind, that actually makes sense. You arrive in the system and see a pirate ship pursuing a civilian ship. Uh, I'm going to aid the civilians. Oh, they have a cloaking device. So, new mechanic. This is cloaking. It sucks. We cannot target them while they are cloaked. We cannot hit them either. Well, technically we can. It's an extremely low chance. Cloaking adds plus 70, 60, 65, 70, 75 percent dodge. So, if they don't have at least three engines, maybe the cloaking might be at something below 100% evasion, but probably not. All right. First off, hit your shields. Then hit this.
I might actually be able to destroy it. Oh, yeah, I can potentially destroy it. I don't think it's going to be worth it, but I could potentially. Eh, just killed him. Burn. See, we actually killed one of their units. Your pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. The ship you saved was badly damaged in battle. Most of the crew offer accepts your offer to be dropped off at a nearby station. One offers to join your crew. Welcome aboard, Bigsby. And apparently it's seven max? It was six. Crew. Nope, it's eight. I was wrong. Oh, Bigby. You're going to door control. You're going to stay in door control. Because hacking doesn't have any benefit of somebody standing in there. And everything else does. Save your stations. Now we'll go to this store. We could stop at that store first, but uh don't bother. We have a decent amount of scrap, but we can probably buy something useful. Uh, long range scanners are decently nice. Drone recovery arm increases recovering non-destroyed drones. That's not useful for us. We don't care about drones. Backup DNA bank is only useful for if we have a clone storage. We have a lot of fuel, though. And drones, we don't care about. Drone control, cloaking. Uh, I don't have enough for cloaking unless if I were to sell my weapons, and that's not worth it. I need a little bit more crap. So instead, I will buy all of your fuel. Right, if only I had a little bit more scrap, that would have worked out well. Getting Nebula. I have a lot of fuel now, so I'm less concerned. Uh, Rebel Scout. Auto Assault. You've got drones and missiles. Shields first. Yep, our first hit. That was a breacher missile, and it breached hull there. We can repair it later. Uh, we can actually repair it now, now I think about it. Open up internal. We're going to lose oxygen a little bit faster, but that room will stay with a decent amount of oxygen, so we don't damage ourselves that much. Yep, we're getting hit by ion, which is part of the reason why our Zoltan shield dropped so fast. So our shields are currently stunned. We're down to one effective shield. Probably should have hit weapons first. There we go. That worked. Unfortunately, we got damaged, but we didn't get damaged too much. Uh, Big B, go ahead and help repair Helm. Might not be a bad idea for us to actually boost up Helm a little bit, but I'd want to wait. Go back and go ahead and close all doors again. Good enough on oxygen, let's go. Storage vessel for military goods. Ah, uh, yes, please. I will go ahead and tap. Holy crap, that's a lot of drones. You know what? I think it might actually be hacking time. All right, so... We can see that they have four power sitting in their drone system, and I am going to Hacksaw it right now. So what this does is for the next few seconds, they can't use drones, and their drones go kind of crazy. Fortunately, they still have missiles, but I still have my Zoltan, so I'm okay for now. It won't last for too much longer, but... I also only have two hit points left. We're probably fine. Word is probably. We're gonna hit take that missile hit. Oof, right into weaponry. 
salvage what we can from the broken ship, and we investigate the station and get even more scrap and missiles and drones. See, easy is easy to me now. Um, it took me a long time to get to this point. <laughs> My food. Uh, it's on the way, but they're having a delay. Okay. I don't have a real-time tracker for that. Right, everything's repaired up. Head and throw power back into engines. No, we're not not engines, black. <coughs> Actually, let's go ahead and increase weapon control a little bit more. Well, first, before I do that, make sure I'm not next to a shop. No, okay. Mostly, so I can also have the stun bomb ready if I want. That sounds like a good plan. We're going to jump to the nebula. Uh, of course, it's an electrical storm. Ooh. Jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves in to attack. But we have blue text, so our engines are powerful enough we might be able to outrun it. Didn't help, but we could have, and it was a much higher chance of doing so. All right. Um... Honestly, I'm not going to use it. Go like that, and we have life support offline right now. That's fine. Their shields are now offline. Their helm is now offline. We have somebody good in weapons, don't we? Oh, I just noticed that we're actually damaged. I should probably fix that. Yep, Bovi is actually halfway decent at weapons now. Firing often enough. Their weapons are down. We took a little bit of damage because of the stupid drones. Because we actually took shield damage. Rumble. They're dead. We need to do a bunch of repairs now. Um, let's go ahead and throw oxygen in. There's no reason to uh, have difficulties with our. I call it um. Um, life support. Also, Bofi, please report there. Schultz, please report there. Willow, please report there. B, you're going to be walking back and forth because that actually works, believe it or not. Okay, and then everybody else report back to stations. That will be sufficient. And we'll go in with lack of oxygen. Everything's fine. How are you? Worrying that rebels have penetrated so far, uh, so deep into uncharted space, even if it's only an unmanned craft. Arms its weapons, you should do the same. Right, now that we have all of our power back, I'm going to throw in more power. Alright, um. Stun bomb shields, flak shield. Train drones for a bit. That way we don't have to worry about that, so the missile will hit the Zoltan shield instead of the missile hitting our hitting our hull. Efficiency. Speaking of, we can actually power to engines instead of power to shields to have a higher chance of it just missing us. Like that, please. There we go, that's better. Go ahead and stun that. Rearrange that. 
um, power from life support to engines to have a higher chance of dodging. I'd rather not take the damage if I can help it. And we lost life support. That's fine. We don't need that, right? Ship explodes, blah, 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 blah. These haven't been very good events recently, unfortunately. Sun bombs back online. We can use another weapon. Bring life support back online. At least get this back up to 90. Main arrival times in 16 minutes, they're usual. I'd expect my food to arrive at any moment now. Uh, Time-wise, we're at 55 minutes. All right, so this will be the last sector. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to jump. Yet another auto scout. This one has no shields. Powering it up, it's FTL drive. That's fine. It's going to die really fast. <laughs> why did you bother? Just why? I have a bunch of time left over. I'm going to jump. Being a terrible idea. I'm going to jump. Ah, none of those are shops. Lion bomb. As soon as you arrive, a small mantis ship detaches from a wreck and jumps away. You must have interrupted their salvage operation because you find a weapon waiting to be installed. I like ion weaponry. Fortunately, that ion bomb's slow. Fortunately, I don't have to care. It only takes one power, which means that is by far the better option. Ion bombs are a lot better. So, it can stun. It does four points of ion damage. As opposed to this doing one point of ion damage. Sure, the stun lasts longer. So any units in the room are going to take significantly more damage. But this will actually do far more damage to the rooms. And that's the part I care about. Because what I'm going to do is ion their shields. Probably. Might ion their weapons. Still, yes please. That sounds like a great idea. Could increase weapon system again. Again, that would cost a lot, though. I'd rather wait until the next area to do that. Let's jump here. Empty space. Yep, this jump beacon serves no purpose other than as a connection. It's just empty. Let's go to the exit beacon. Right. You jump into a sector filled with civilian activity. You scan the various advertisement channels, waiting for your FTL to charge. You're intrigued by a gray market shipwright. Yes, please. I will totally trade two of my drones for six fuel. Yes. All right. We will stop this here. I hope you've enjoyed this internet. And by the time I'm done, I will have yummy. And by the next time you see me, I will have yummy Indian food in me. Internet.